I started drinking coffee when I was like six though. What? My dad gave me a coffee with three sugars in it when I was six. So obviously I was like, this is delicious. Yes. This is my favorite drink of all she time. She liked caffeine and sugar. So <laughs> I, I drink coffee before I go to bed. Caffeinated. Now, hello. now Hudson, hello. Thank <laughs> you for joining me. If we're just talking last night's episode, did you watch it? I as did. A viewer. Thank God I did. Yeah. Imagine if you'd asked me and I hadn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> never yes. watch it. I never watch it. <laughs> I didn't watch it, darling. Yeah. Uh, I did watch it. I cried. We were all crying. I watched. I was. We always take it in turns to host at, in the cast. We watch it together at each other's houses every Sunday night. So. So you watch the show like with each other. With each other, yeah. as, as a viewer would. Yeah. That's amazing. But all together, it's really nice. It's really nice. And we were at Anna Wilson Jones's house last night. She made us curry. And we all sat round uh, and watched it, and we were all crying last night. As was the nation. As was the nation. <laughs> was, I know, I got a so many texts. <laughs> so many texts being like, oh my God. It was like, yeah. That's incredible. So you're saying it's like a cast come dine with me sort of situation. Basically, yeah. <laughs> have you hosted? I have hosted. I hosted last week. And what did you cook? I didn't. I ordered okay. takeout. Of course. I ordered takeout. Of course. A girl, I'm a millennial girl. I don't have time to cook. No, deliver that. <laughs> what is the hardest part about working on a period drama, would you say? I think there's just that slight distance between uh, how people acted 150 years ago and how they behave now and trying to make that realistic and authentic to the time, but at the same time finding the sort of visceral human truth in it that people can actually relate to it and engage with it. And I mean, they do, just, I mean, mm. the reaction on Twitter and social media, I mean, it's like a really contemporary drama of set in a, you know, back in the mm. Victorian era, which I think is something really rare, yeah. and it feels really fresh, mm. um, and I think that's why people really sort of go for it. But um, what are your thoughts on the Victorian way of life? Are there any advantages to living back then? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't choose if someone said you can swap now for Victorian times. I would be like, no, thank you so much, though. Uh, there's, there are nice things about it. I think that the sort of sense of occasion about everything is very lovely. If you're lucky enough to be uh, upper, <laughs> yeah. upper class. Upstairs you, rather yeah, than like downstairs. Yeah, balls, just lovely sumptuous thing like yeah. balls and the dresses and, you know, chivalry and some of those things are very lovely. But I think that we're doing better now, overall. <laughs> I, I, I would say, I would say Maybe. so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's such and go sometimes. Um, <laughs> talking about the sense of occasion and dresses, what is your favourite costume from the show? But you don't have to say your own because I, I feel like Mine you sucks. are a bit limited. <laughs> you, your socks. I am a yeah. bit limited. I am a bit limited. I get one nice one this year actually. I go to the park and I have this like pretty parasol. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a kind of, it's a bit like a painting. It always looks a bit like a painting. It's so beautiful, all the costumes and the sets and everything. It, it looked gorgeous, but probably my favorite costume belongs obviously to Queen Victoria herself. It's this white dress that she wears. I think she wears it to, there's an episode where we all go to France and she's trying to look beautiful to impress the French court and she wears this stunning white dress. So look out for that, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out. <laughs> and would you say you're a workaholic? Yeah, I think I do go a bit nuts when I'm not working. Uh, you know, get very dangerously close to buying the dog when I'm not working. <laughs> it's like, yeah. don't do it. I just love what I do. I'm so lucky to be in a profession that I really, really love what I do. So why wouldn't I want to do it all the time? On set, what do you do between takes? Chat. We all get have on so well. Real we, life conversations. We have real life yeah. interactions. Yeah, we talk to each other, we hang out, we have fun. That's amazing. So would you say, cause a lot of people might think looking at a show like Victoria, it's quite, you know, perhaps austere, you know, obviously, yeah. you know, pomp and ceremony, but you're saying it's actually offset, it's actually quite fun and in between yes. scenes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's so much fun. It's too much fun. We <laughs> <do> yeah. <laughs> sometimes, Tell me more. No, it sometimes is too much fun in that you have a scene that might be quite emotional or something. And like, just before you do a take, your friend whispers like a swear word in your ear or pinches you somewhere. And uh, yeah, it can be distracting, but it's nice. I'd rather it was that and that it was relaxed and we all yeah. loved each other than uptight. Where did you grow up? I grew up in the middle of nowhere. I grew up in Worcestershire on a farm, on oh, a working what? farm. On a working farm? Yeah, I can drive a tractor, guys. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I can, I can legit drive a tractor. That's series three. Yeah, where, that's what Scarrett yeah, does. You know, Scarrett like... moves to the countryside. <laughs> 
I mean, that's a spin-off series in itself. Yeah. The tractor exists. I'm going to say, yeah, wheels exist. Wheels do. Did you actually? Did you actually work? on the farm? No, not really. Like, I occasionally did for pocket money the odd thing. It's like visions of you, like, with eggs and milk. (laughs) (laughs) And what was your first job? My first professional job was um, a short film with a wonderful director called Garrick Ham, who employed me while I was still at drama school. And I think he gave it to me because I... um, the role required swimming in the sea, and he was like, would you be up for swimming in the sea? I know it's November, and I was like, yeah, I love swimming in the sea. So I think that's that's what got it for me. What did you want to be when you were younger? A singer, actually, before I realized that I could do acting as a real thing. Uh, I remember, <laughs> do you remember Stars in the Rise? Yeah, there was, do I ever? <laughs> yeah. There was um, Stars in the Rise Junior, and I was like, I'm gonna go on Stars in the Rise Junior, and then I'm gonna be a famous pop star, because that was the dream. And then I told my drama teacher at the time, and she said, I don't think you have what it takes. And I was like, <gasps> and now, and now I can be like, screw you. I won't face. name her, but yeah. No, don't in your name face. her. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're thinking of her. If you're watching this, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She'll know. Who yeah. would you have been on Stars in Your Eyes Junior? Um, Blondie, maybe. Fantastic. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I swear they're yeah. going to do a Britney, second maybe wave Britney. Maybe if Britney. I'm honest, Britney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blondie's um, like my cool answer yeah. and Britney's my truthful answer. Do you have good taste in music? Would I like you to say? think so. Don't we all think that about ourselves, though? That's probably the point. I, I, I don't even think that I do. So oh, I'm not okay, even, I'm not even, I mean, yeah. Say what you want, but fair I've got enough. awful taste in music. <laughs> you know, like, take that, like, yeah. you know, Ed Sheeran. But on repeat, like, I won't even, which I'm not saying is a bad song sure. to have, but you know. Sure. Yeah. Well, I go out with a musician, so I, he's quite strict about the quality of music in our house. Yeah, it would be like dating a chef, like you'd only eat quite good food, hopefully, yeah. all the time. I go out with a musician, so like the music quality in the house is quite high. So definitely Blondie and not Britney. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, although there's always time for Britney. There's always Nothing time for Britney. Britney. <laughs> Are you a late person, or would you say you're a stickler for time? I'm um, very happy for other people to be late really really chill out about that but with, when it's me I, unless I'm half an hour early for something I'm late in my head like I have to be there early that's incredible yeah yeah <laughs> I think it comes from my mother like always early for particularly transport like planes and trains very early person auditions I like to get there and have a coffee before I go in like around the corner so I'm like settled so you quite I like being caffeine early. yeah I was as told before an interview, I imagine for you for an audition, never drink coffee. Oh, yeah. Because apparently it leaves you really buzzing, but I mean, clearly it's, you know, doing something right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where it's all going wrong. Yeah. No, uh, I started drinking coffee when I was like six, though. What? My dad gave me a coffee with three sugars in it when I was six, so obviously I was like, this is delicious. Yeah. This is my favourite drink of all Do you time. Do like caffeine and sugar? So <laughs> I, I drink coffee before I go to bed, like a caffeinated coffee before I go to bed. It doesn't really... Caffeinated? Mm, it doesn't, it's fine. I've built up an immune system to coffee it's <laughs> tolerance. Like 100% tolerance yeah. to caffeine. Yeah. Thank you so much, Noah. Thank you.